All right. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm your Mr. Yes, and we are here today to discuss one of the smallest yet important but mostly neglected feature uh, or the point in React.js by the beginners. So as you can see, we are on localhost 3000, which is where the React.js starts up uh, when we have the React application created by Create React app. And uh, as you can see, I have the Create React app. It's running on localhost 3000. There's nothing special about the structure. All that we have here is the files that are by default given by React. So if we start to tear down, uh, we would <coughs> want to see how we can remove parts of this and yet make sure that our app works. I don't think we need a service worker and uh, we need React and React DOM. However, I don't think we need app, but yet we'll remove the index.css first. Let's see if it breaks our code. And it does because service worker isn't defined anymore as we got rid of the dependencies. And let's see if our code still runs on localhost. Yes. However, you can see that the look and feel has changed a bit because of the CSS that we removed. And instead of the app, what we're going to do is just a div and say welcome to React Basics. All right. Let's go back and see if it's getting rendered. Wonderful. Another point here is if you see this line of code, it says document dot get element by ID. I'm sure that you're gonna get the font right. It's, it's good enough and readable. Um, and then you must be wondering where this root is. It's inside the public folder in your index.html. Just let me minimize the bottom window and show you. Now this is your root. Say if you going to remove this and rename it probably to Mr. Yes. All right. Your app is bound to fail because it's trying to find an element, sorry, trying to find a container. Because your div is an HTML container and it's a DOM element. And however, it's unable to find it because it's trying to find root a dom a container a dom element with the name root and yet if you rename this it should come back and render us so this is one 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 tiny thing that most developers who are about to jump into react will generally forget let's uncomment this see what it says Nothing's going to be breaking because HTML generally considers is generally uh, if you read about the internals of HTML and how this HTML renders and formats it, it has a lot of tolerance in it. So even though it finds two root elements, two containers with ID root, it tries to find and match the first one rather than the multiple ones it finds. It doesn't throw an error like in XML. Okay, all right. Uh, let's do one thing and rename this as main, just for naming purpose, and say uh, what we're gonna do is react dom dot render. Uh, ah, what we're gonna do is put some data here. This is some data here. Let me wrap this up in a paragraph. Go back and see. So it renders this. And what if instead of calling a root, I rename that I should match, I should fit everything that my React tries to render inside the container with the name main. 
Let me go back, it overwrites whatever contents that you have inside your HTML's container. So your HTML by default has this inside its container with an ID called main, however React rewrites it. And what happens if you have two routes, sorry, two containers with the same route? It throws you an error because it now tries to figure out which one should it fit up, fit in the, the, the data and it doesn't find a suitable one. And the error that it throws is from the Webpack. And in the future modules, we'll read more about Webpack. Now, if you look at your codes package.json, all you know is script npm start, which runs React scripts start. Now, you don't really see where the Webpack is or what all files it's trying to, or what all files our React app is trying to bring up on. In the future modules, we'll uh, explore more about that, but I want to keep this very short. Probably five minutes is what I thought, and we end up with six odd minutes. And uh, this is one point that I want you, that I want every one of us to give importance. So, when you have your HTML, this is how you you have its behavior. Okay. Thanks for joining. See ya.